Hey guys, welcome to Teach to Code. Today I will show you basics of AngularJS. For downloading AngularJS, you have to go to angularjs.org. From here you can click on the download button and then you can select uh, the magnified version and compressed version or you can use the CD version if you are mind to download this JS file. So and click on download. I already downloaded it so I am not gonna go into download the file and next move on to coding. I saved my file in my local drive. Okay then I will take my code editor and we are on AngularJS tutorial series. So next about AngularJS. AngularJS is a JavaScript framework. Actually AngularJS is made by Google and it's based on a JavaScript framework. And AngularJS is distributed as JavaScript file and also it can be added to a web page with a script tag. So and you can add it to your web page with a script tag like this script src and uh, the location of the file path okay you or you can use the cdn link like this or you can use the file that you have saved both work next angularjs properties angularjs extends html with ht directories so it will extend your html with ng directives okay, i will show you what is ng directive don't confuse my guys. Next, the ng app directive defines an AngularJS application. So, ng application directive which defines an AngularJS application. The ng mode directive binds the value of HTML controls. I will show you that in practical so you guys can understand pretty much. The ng bind directive binds application data to the HTML view and that also we are gonna going to see. So next and this is a sample program written in JavaScript AngularJS. Okay. First I am going to initialize the application or I initialize the application ng app and it's nothing over here because I didn't link any ng application that I had created externally that we will see after some classes but initially I'm just going to go going to leave it bank and uh, then I had created a text box in which type is equal to text and we have to give the model and I give ng model and then I give a model name that you wish to give any name your baby name or something like that in a name and then for previously we see that connecting to the HTML we have to bind that thing so I had used ng hyphen bind equal to the name of the model that we are used that is thing so we will see that in real time fire up your code editor I am using PHP Storm you can use any code editor that has automatic completion syntax highlighting that's it so I will take my code editor I have created a little bit of boilerplate okay and I open my browser and I am using PHP Storm's live reload so I don't need to save and going to be refresh every time so if you are guys using PHP Storm then you can use the live reload functionality first I have defined in HTML basic tags and then I linked my AngularJS file from my local server and then I link to my current HTML file okay that's simple Next we have to initialize the ng application. You can initialize or declare the ng application in anywhere. You can do that the body tag or you can use that with the do tag. It's not matter. I will declare in the body tag itself. So ng app equal to nil. I don't have any application currently now. So I am left with bank. Next you have to define the ng model for that i will create a text box and i will show you the magic of angular js input text okay and then i will give ng model and i will give 
the name as name you can give any name okay if I type in this thing I didn't see any magical anything magical but I already said that for linking with the HTML view we have to use the ng bind so I will a do tag I had use here and then I will use ng bind and then the model name that we have given earlier that is name okay now if I type in the text box now you can see the real-time reload or real-time job reloading you can obtain the same result in jQuery too but it's take too much of your time but if in your AngularJS it's finished in one step so that's they are saying it's a heroic framework okay anyway and first we have initialized the ing application and we have nothing to link to an external application so I just left it blank and then I created a text box and I give a ng model name as name you can give any name then I bind that name to my HTML so it knows that it's the model name this is the basic thing and next I will show you how to initialize some variable and then you can call it okay if you mind you can use the short version of ng bind that is if you put two curly braces and then you write the model name over here and if you type the thing you get the same effect okay and if I write one plus one then I will get two and if I type 3 plus 3 then I will get the same result 3 plus 3 equal to 6 no special requirement okay next for initializing variable in AngularJS we will use ng init and then you can give any variable name that you want I you am going to use id and then I will write my name and if I write my oh I if I call my with name that is ID then you can see the real time preview of the variable value that I have assigned to my ID that is Suraj and it's cool it's dynamically and next I'm gonna going to show you an array function in AngularJ so if I delete this thing and okay ID I use ID then I will do some array steps over here that is 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay if I use ID then I will get something like this so if I write the position number over here then I didn't get anything because in array there is only 0, 1, 2, 2 values so I write 2 then I will get 3 it's dynamically calling the value from my array okay this is the basic introduction to anchor chase in the next class on which we will see some advanced functions so let's get into angular chase okay